What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and we got ourselves an MN78. All right, you guys, so ever since MN Models came out with this Cherokee, I have always wanted to get one, just for the main fact that when I was younger, my parents actually had a Cherokee in red, and they came out with this, I had to get it. So let's open this guy up and see what it looks like. All right, so in the box you get a bag, MN models and it has a whole bunch of stuff in here. So let's just open this guy up and see what we got. All right, so you got your card, <laughs> trading card, I guess you would call it. You got your instruction manual to tell you how to put everything all together and you have here, this is the instruction manual that tells you how to work with everything, what goes where. This actually tells you what goes where, and this tells you basically what to do, what not to do. Now, you also get in the packaging, front grill, and you get your louvers and everything, your wipers, handles, mirrors, whole bunch of stuff to put on it. So let's go on ahead, take this guy out of here. You get your 18650 batteries, 7.4, 1200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. You get a charger and the transmitter that has a horn up front which actually that is part of the MN Models logo. If you guys take a look there, it looks like the logo. That's what that is. Let's get this guy out of the packaging here. Guys, and here it is. This guy looks absolutely awesome. So as you guys just saw, the hood does open, the door, front doors open, the rear lid opens. All doors open, as you guys can see. Now, on the top, lights here they do have actual lights inside of it if I'm not mistaken there are lights all the way around so you have lights in the front you do have lights in the rear um, these shocks do not have oil in them they are friction they are friction shocks but I think they will do the job so these front doors are actually kind of hard to close um, if you guys take a look here, if you guys take a look here, that little tab that's right there keeps on hitting the uh, the rear door and it <laughs> actually becomes a little bit of a pain to open and close. Uh, it does bring a roof rack that's on there and I, 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 I love this thing. I really do love this thing. Um, it really does remind me of the old Jeep that my parents used to have, which I ended up driving when I got my license. My older brother drove when he got his license, and this thing was awesome. I wish we still had it, uh, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's go on underneath. The tires on here, and eh, they're not too bad. Uh, it does have a servo mounted on the front axle. Doesn't seem there is any bump steer on this thing, which is nice. Now underneath here, you do have plastic links, uppers and lower links, they are plastic. The drive shafts, they are plastic. Axles, they are plastic. Uh, in the rear is the exact same thing. You do have plastic links, upper and lowers plastic drive shaft again 
friction shocks um, but the chassis is also made of some type of composite plastic composite it is not metal it is not a metal chassis I don't believe nope definitely not metal chassis um, so one of the things that I found out about this guy is that right here if you guys look right under there there are some holes right there in the rear and in the front where it, you can actually reach to the screw to take the drive shafts off which is a nice feature that they ended up doing they have the lights for the front and the rear run nicely inside of the chassis as you guys can see right there running along the body I mean out of the way and it is on both sides that they have the lights being run especially in the front nice and tucked away so it doesn't end up getting caught up when you're out doing your thing now on the inside here they did very nice with this thing. They ended up putting door cards inside. It has full interior. So this does have a manual transmission. I do, I miss this thing so much. The interior, if I remember correctly, the steering wheel looks exactly the same as it did. I really miss that Jeep that my parents had. That thing was absolutely awesome. Uh, you do have a rear, you do have a rear bench in the back, the lights, the, it's this thing, I, I just, uh, man, I love the way this thing looks. They did very well with mimicking the wheels that actually come on the Jeep Cherokee, but more than likely I am going to be switching them out and putting some, um, some nicer wheels on this thing, but to keep it as a nice little trail truck that thing this thing does look awesome so going back underneath here you do have your on off switch that is right here on the side which is easy accessible uh, to take the body off I don't believe the body is that hard to come off so this thing looks absolutely nice let's put some batteries in this thing and in the transmitter actually let's talk about the uh, transmitter so the transmitter is kind of like an oddball shape but it does have your thumb steering here which for my hand kind of feels a little kind of feels a little it's too tucked in the steering wheel thumb steering is to my liking it's too tucked in on the inside there um, I might have to add something here to I might have to add something here to be able to work it better with my thumb because as I'm I know every time I'm going to use it constantly rubbing up against the side there so you do have your throttle rate your light switch there your steering trim these two buttons here do absolutely nothing it already came on and this thing does take it looks to be two double A batteries that's going to be underneath here. So let's put some batteries in this thing and see what this guy looks like with the lights on. All right, so I just put the batteries in this guy and as you can see, once you start moving with it, a little light in there. There you go. If you, hopefully you guys can see that, a little light turns on blue. And now you have all your lights on the front turn on I think this thing looks absolutely awesome so you do have unfortunate turn signals in the front your lights are on in the rear and you do have turn signals in the rear also the modulation seems to be pretty good I'm not accelerating too much and it's already Alright, 
So you do have brake lights, you're going, stop, you have your brakes. And they do not come on when you put your reverse. When you go in reverse, just hit reverse, the lights do not come on. You go, stop, and your lights come on. Go, stop, lights come on. That is awesome. I really do miss my parents' Jeep. <laughs> I really do. Steering seems adequate. You could turn off the lights with just hitting that button right here, which is a light switch. So that button right there is a light switch. You can turn them on and off. If you hold the button, you get your hazards, which that would actually kind of be pretty cool if you're out on the trail and you're going to do some type of crawling, just hold them. You hit the light switch again. You can still keep the lights, the hazards on, and it takes away the turn signals, which that is cool. I do like that. Hold that again. You turn off the hazards, but you get your turn signals back on. So I do like the way that this thing is. Uh, let's go take this guy outside and see how it does.
you guys and there it is the MN78 Jeep Cherokee XJ and I have got this even though it's not licensed but we all know what it is and I gotta tell you this thing just looks absolutely awesome I love the way it looks being a hard body and everything it, it just brings back childhood memories of mine the electronics it does have some punch into it it's not bad i'll be honest with you the electronics in this thing are not bad the one complaint i do have is the thumb steering right here it is way too close i can't it's just way too close i can't manage it, it sh if it was a little bit longer and probably right about to there, I'd be able to manage it better, but it is just way too close to the controller to be able to work right. Um, the other thing that I ended up finding out after I did that run, so this thing has a two-speed transmission. So as you're driving along, you have this button right there, this throttle rate. And what you do is when you're moving, you, hit the button, if you hit that throttle rate, your lights are gonna blink once. High speed, hit it again. The lights blink twice. And you're on low speed, so it has two speeds. It's It doesn't have a two speed transmission. It just up and higher and lower uh, speeds on this thing. But this thing did not do too bad. I did end up losing my driver that was in here. As you guys can see, there's nobody there. When this guy flipped over, uh, I had him stuck on there with double-sided sticky tape. It's a little cold outside for the double-sided sticky tape to stay sticking, so he ended up falling out. It didn't do too bad. After all and everything, it did not do too bad. I, from videos that I've seen on uh, from Tom Lee RC and everybody, that has made a video of these i honestly thought this was going to be worse than what it did but it did not do too bad when mn models came out with this i had to get it just for the main fact that it brought back childhood memories and my whole idea with this was to paint it red to mimic the old xj that my parents had so I, either way, even if it didn't perform well, I would have, I, to me, I still love this thing just for the main fact that it brings back childhood memories. And the fact that the doors all open up, this one, it might not stay, it might need some, <laughs> it might need some uh, shocks here to hold this thing up. But this thing did great and did pretty good for what it is. The electronics were not that bad on there. It was able to take a couple of those obstacles pretty well. Um, the tires, it could use better tires. Definitely could use better tires. But again, 
not a bad vehicle for, I think it's, I think I got it for $70 on Black, during Black Friday, Cyber Monday. One of those times I know I ended up getting it and I think it's 90 something now. I'll put a picture right here. Is it worth it? Yeah, definitely worth it. You can upgrade it and everything and make it your own. Um, and that's what I am planning to do with this guy. So with that being said, everybody, thank you for watching. You hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You all keep RCing. Have a good one.